Elon just confirmed an all new Model Y is coming, but it's not the Model Y Juniper. Something bigger, something better, but also probably way more expensive than the Model Y Juniper refresh we've been expecting. Some bad news here you need to know. Plus, Tesla continues with their discounts, their incentives, and some all new freebies for all Tesla owners around the world. So if you own a Tesla, you're about to get a little treat, something all new for free. And we are just weeks away from the biggest Tesla update of the year, the 2024 holiday update is coming soon. Let me tell you everything we know about it, what's coming next, and also some small little hidden changes with 2025 Teslas. Lots and lots of Tesla news to get into this week. A little something for everybody here. Here's all the Tesla news you need to know right now. Okay, so for the last few weeks, regular viewers know that I've been sort of trying to do my best to track all of the different incentives and changes because Tesla's got a whole lot going on right now. As I've mentioned previously, right now is I think one of, if not the best times to buy not just because Tesla has substantially cut prices basically across the board on all their models over the last couple of months, but also with this being the end of the quarter and the federal tax credit for EVs likely going away in 2025, there are just many, many reasons why right now is particularly an excellent time to buy. And Tesla's just added a couple of new incentives here that if you're looking to buy a Tesla, make this an even better time and an even better deal to take advantage of now. Like I mentioned previously, there's still the military discount you could take advantage of. There is the referral discount. Just by going through someone's referral link, you can get money off. There, of course, is uh, inventory discounts where you can save thousands of dollars just by looking at a, a Tesla pre-built and ready to go. There is FSD transfer. Like I mentioned, there is the $7,500 federal tax credit, which I mentioned right now because likely going to be going away in the new year with the new administration. But also there's a couple of other special deals you should know. One is that Tesla has just launched three months of full self-driving supervised for free and three months of free unlimited charging for any Tesla delivery as long as you take delivery before the end of the year. This a couple of days ago was reserved just for inventory vehicles, but now Tesla's opened these up to new builds. So again, whether you're going Cybertruck, whether you're going Model Y, no matter what you go with, if you take advantage of a delivery before the end of the year, you can stack a bunch of deals and discounts, plus get three months of these incentives, free unlimited supercharging, free full self-driving, as long as you take delivery before the end of the year. Another deal you should know about is with the Model Y specifically. Obviously, Tesla's got their 0% APR financing and this and that, but they just actually lowered the lease price of the Model Y. So if you're looking to uh, potentially get a Model Y and you're looking to lease it, uh, they have now dropped that starting price tag to $300 a month. Of course, this is before uh, incentives and uh, fees and stuff like that, uh, but $300 a month for the base Model Y, which is a really great car for a really great price. Obviously, the big question everybody has is what's going on with the new Model Y Juniper. I'll come back to that more in a moment. But if you're looking at a Model Y right now, it's $300 a month to lease one. Really great deal. And the federal tax credit is built into that lease payment as well. Also, speaking of deals, Tesla is not the only company running some deals and discounts right now. I love, if you guys have been around the channel for a little while, mini REVs. Hit the link down below if you want to learn more on screen and use the code Robert for 10% off. Also, in addition to different Tesla deals, I want to talk about two other incentives and sort of freebies Tesla is rolling out right now. Uh, one of them is that if you've gotten the full self-driving trial, Tesla has been handing these out like candy over the last couple of weeks, they are now extending it for more people. There seems to be no rhyme or reason on who's getting it, but Tesla first offered a month of free full self-driving supervised, then they offered an additional 30 days, and now it looks like they're offering some people another 30 days, so 90 days total of full self-driving, and these are for people who already own the car, and it seems to be going out sporadically. So again, no rhyme or reason on who's getting it right now, but be on the lookout for that because you might be able to get another 30 days of free full self-driving, and no purchase is required for that, of course. Also, two other little changes here you should know about. Again, Tesla is just throwing every incentive possible out there right now. One of the big ones is that the, for the first time ever, Tesla is now allowing lease buyouts for every single model. 
No cap, no restriction, no nothing. In fact, this is retroactive. So if you've got a current Tesla that is being leased, you can jump in the app and get a payoff quote as to what it would be if you wanted to buy it out. So that's a big deal. That is here right now. And also Tesla has made a change. I mentioned the referral program a moment ago. They've actually upped the referral program and the limit to $2,000 off a new Tesla. And I will give the same little spiel here I gave in my previous video. If anybody takes delivery of a Tesla and you use my referral link down below, I will hook you up with some free Tesla merch. Not use or anything. I've got free uh, shirts. I've got... Um, what can I ship to you? Uh, merch. Uh, there's a, a collection of things I can ship to you. Basically, you put a purchase through my link. You, we'll get in contact and I'll let you pick from my list of different things some brand new stuff. But I say that because it's now $2,000 off for you guys through the end of the year. You always get some incentives and other things as well. But $2,000 off SX3 Wire Cybertruck. Please, somebody, live. Uh, I, I want to live vicariously through you. Buy a Cybertruck through my link because I'm very tempted to do so. Uh, or even lease. It works with the lease as well. But check it out. Um, and uh, I'll put the link down below. But yeah, uh, nice new incentives that are live right now. Tesla is also offering free unlimited overnight charging for $5 a month if you live in Texas. So a little bit more of a, a niche offering here. But if you're in Texas, you want free unlimited super uh, free unlimited home charging for five bucks a month. Uh, you can check out the details on that. I'll put a link down below for that incentive. And then Tesla is now offering also a new test drive. So we all know there's the standard you know thirty minute test drive. There also is an overnight test drive that if you can find it that is available. But now Tesla is offering a 48 hour test drive. This is separate from the overnight test drive. Tesla started to email about this. The details are unclear, but it's starting to roll out in some locations where you can basically take the Tesla of your choice for 48 hours, two days. Typically, there are no, obviously, fees required for this. No one's, you know, watching you. No one's with you. Uh, there are typically no mileage restrictions or uh, supercharging restrictions. You can just take the Tesla you want and have at it for 48 hours. One of the reasons why I love these extended test drives is it just gives you a chance to really live with the car, see how it fits in your garage, pack your family inside and see how it works, put a car seat in there, put a stroller, pack it up. Uh, having these extended uh, test drives are really, really great opportunities. I think the Tesla sees the value in how they convert to sales. So if you've wanted to do a, a longer test drive than just the standard 30 minutes, check these out, be on the lookout for them. Tesla's just rolling them out now, 48 hours with the Tesla of your choice. Probably not Cybertruck, but everything else. SX3Y for 48 hours. Sign me up and it costs you nothing. Now, I know as sort of 2024 comes to a close, we are all super excited to see what big changes and upgrades could be coming to our Tesla vehicles and really the entire Tesla lineup in 2025. But um, spoiler alert, what if I could show you a major upgrade you could give to your Tesla right now and you don't have to wait for what Tesla may or may not do. This is an upgrade that I recommend to every single Tesla owner out there, every Tesla on the road, and that is a major camera upgrade thanks to the N4 Pro from Vancher. Now, to be clear, while Teslas do have cameras built in, they're not very good in terms of quality or fidelity or color or anything like that. There is just no competing with a dedicated dash cam system that is purpose built for this stuff. Plus it's got way more tech and features built inside as well, but your Tesla camera system just can't compete with. And if you want a clear example, well, here you go. This is the N4 Pro and this is the built-in uh, Tesla camera system. As you can see, there's just no comparison. One is offering way more quality and brightness and color and detail and resolution, while the other looks kind of like a potato camera in comparison. The N4 Pro is powered by the Sony Starvis 2 image sensor. This delivers 4K image quality for the front sort of main camera and also really great 1080p for the rear camera and the interior camera. And yes, you actually do get a ton of versatility here, including an interior cabin camera. You don't have to use this if you don't want to, but I know many people would like this peace of mind. And this is especially nice since your Tesla already has an interior cabin camera, 
but you cannot access that footage at all. With this system, you totally can, plus you get a great looking image at all the cameras and uh, front and back as well. And in addition to that excellent coverage, as you can see here, you're getting just a fantastic picture quality no matter what time of day it is. Uh, this is especially important for me as I live in more of a rural area. There is like no lights at all at night. So having a camera system that could capture all this in as much detail as possible is really helpful. And this is just fantastic at that. As you can see here, Tesla cannot compete. Obviously, while all this is great for while you're driving around town and doing what you're doing, um, you also have that extra peace of mind because this will protect your car while it is sort of sitting parked in a parking lot, which our cars tend to do uh, a lot of the time as well. You've got four different built-in modes here, a buffered motion detection mode that's going to detect sort of motion around your vehicle. You've got collision detection, which is obviously pretty important if someone was to hit your parked car, and then low bitrate recording and low frame rate recording, two options to really help you conserve storage space, but still record when you're not at your vehicle and you want to keep tabs on what's going on. As I've mentioned in previous videos, I I've just been a huge advocate for a dedicated dash cam system. Not something you think about when you buy a Tesla. And while the built-in cameras are great, again, nothing is going to compete in terms of technology and features and uh, just sheer image quality you're going to get from a dedicated dash cam system. And the N4 Pro here is just incredible. If you guys want to learn more, check it out for yourself today. Save for a limited time as well. I have all those details link down below. Check it out and give your Tesla a major, major upgrade today. All right, a little bit of a lighting change a little bit later in the day, but things are getting a little darker, a little bit more serious, I guess, for the next topic we got to cover. And that is the big Tesla holiday update. As things are getting interesting as to what we're going to see and when we're going to see them. So if you're out of the loop, of course, Tesla's biggest update of the year usually comes around the end of the year. This is the big holiday update. And this is when we usually get sort of, well, the biggest changes of the year, visual changes, new features, stuff like that. As of now, we've actually gotten a couple of interesting undocumented changes in recent updates all sort of leading up to the big update coming soon. So a couple of things you should know is that one, if you've noticed your full self-driving visualizations just smoother in the vehicle, like there's not as much lag as basically an example of uh, sort of what you're seeing on screen, that is actually a four-year-old bug that has been fixed. That is intentional. I didn't notice it so much on my uh, Intel-based Atom um, Model Y with FSD, but it's way more noticeable over on newer vehicles, so that is super nice to see. There's a new anti-door open sort of safety thing that you can see here is now on uh, at least some of the newer Teslas, as well as Tesla's apparently sort of overhauled and completely redone their trip planner in the vehicle. Codename here was Voyager internally. That's basically the, the whole new system. That is live now, so if you notice that the trip planner is more accurate, more speedy, and just overall better. That's because Tesla's basically rewritten it from the ground up. Also, some of you might remember the acceleration boost. Remember that option that used to exist for the Model 3 and Model Y long range that basically give you a bit more performance you could unlock to make it feel like a performance without paying for a performance model? That's been around for a while, but it hasn't been on the new Model 3s actually until now. I believe over in Australia and in China, Tesla has started rolling this out. This should, of course, roll out to the US. That'll improve the zero to 60 time of your long range Model 3. Not gonna turn it into a Model 3 performance, but should make it better. This should improve the zero to 60 time from 4.4, which is the stock time from the factory, to 3.8 seconds. And while the sort of USD conversion and all this is a little sketchy right now, it's gonna be about 2,000 bucks. You should be able to redeem probably referral credit. Actually, I don't know if you can do referral credits because Tesla doesn't let you use referral credits in their new system for software subscription. So that's a little TBD if you can uh, redeem referral credits for this, but it's likely gonna be around $1,900 to $2,000 when it launches here in the North American market. And then in terms of other things, of course, we know the holiday update, the, probably the big feature is going to be the Apple Watch uh, companion app they're going to bring over to uh, the Apple Watch, which will be nice. Um, Apple Music likely getting a high fidelity option. And then no other big rumors on some bigger things we could see, 
But of course, as we get closer to the end of December and as we learn more about the holiday update, I'll of course I'll let you know, but at least these new features are rolling out as of right now. We're also beginning to see some small changes Tesla is making to their 2025 fleet. As I've mentioned before, Tesla is currently producing 2025 3s, Ys, Xs, Ss, Cybertrucks, those are live right now. If you buy one, you're likely going to get a 2025 build. And while the Model Y Juniper isn't here just yet on the 2025 side for Model Y, Tesla is making some smaller changes to these models. For starters, 2025 Model Ys have better range than their previous year counterparts. Not sure if this is any big efficiency gain or rather this is just the, uh, the new way that the EPA is sort of uh, calculating the range for these vehicles, but that is up a bit. Of course, you've got the other things. You've got new colors. You've got the darker Gemini wheels. Those are nice to see. And then Tesla is also changing the seal on their cameras for 2025 Tesla at least here in the back just to make it so the camera can stay cleaner easier and it's not going to get as dirty as fast obviously it'd be nice if all the, the cameras could have the wipers built in like what you've got on Cybertruck but at least the steel on these cameras should be better and just again remember here these are still hardware 4 systems there is yet to be a uh, Tesla with the hardware 5 system that's coming next still hardware 4 just some smaller changes here to the camera system on these vehicles and then finally, a bit of news here on 2025 Teslas, specifically two or three models we've got to talk about. Uh, obviously, Tesla continues to work on CyberCab. Not only have these now been sort of um, relocated to different parts of the United States, they're in certain stores, it was at the LA Auto Show, um, they're starting to do a tour of this, but also we've started to see this actually be tested uh, sort of internally at Tesla. So obviously, this has sort of gone beyond just the sort of concept stage. They're working on trying to get this thing ready for production and actually doing some driving testing. So that is cool. Um, in terms of Model Y Juniper, obviously we're still all uh, sort of waiting for the 2025 launch. We don't have any new info on this just yet. Of course, as we learn more, I'll let you know. But Elon did confirm maybe some bad news for Juniper, and that is that Tesla might be working on a new larger vehicle, more akin to the Model X, sort of a new higher-end Tesla that could basically carry more people. This comes in a reply to an X post where Elon said, you know, we, okay, we'll, we'll work on something larger. But there's a couple of different things here to consider. For starters, many have wondered if Tesla could make more of a traditional van. Obviously, many other companies have the minivan and that sort of thing. Uh, Rivian even has, I think, just a little bit more space in their uh, larger vehicle. There are other uh, larger EVs on the market, real, you know, three-row, uh, true three-row vehicles. While the Model X does exist, many have wanted something a little a bit bigger and um, maybe this is something that could sort of be in that market. The second thing to consider is that we've long sort of been waiting for any sort of Model X refresh. Model S and Model X have uh, yet to be, you know, updated in really any sense in the last couple of years. We've sort of been waiting for maybe a smaller refresh that could give us RGB ambient lighting, maybe give us some small refinements. That is yet to be seen. So I wonder if we could see sort of a replacement to the Model S uh, or Model X, a successor that could sort of be this new higher end vehicle. You also have to wonder that if Tesla is working on a higher end, larger vehicle, like a larger SUV, how does this affect the features that could be in Model Y Juniper? For the last few months, we've heard things like, obviously besides the new design on the outside, uh, newer Tesla technologies like steer by wire, uh, significant uh, increases to the battery capacity for more range, four day volt architecture, stuff like that. You've gotta wonder if we could have some bad news here as if, you know, Tesla could just reserve more of the, you know, higher end things, steer by wire for the higher end vehicle. And they sort of dumb things down a bit and streamline things for Model Y Juniper. Is there a scenario that could happen? Definitely. But as always, take this as a major grain of salt because we have no idea where this new Tesla even is in the sort of pipeline. Obviously, Tesla's working on things all the time, but is this in concept form? Is Tesla ready to do a reveal? How far in development is this? We have no idea. Just something to sort of keep on your radar. Tesla's always working on new vehicles, always working on bigger, better, faster things. And uh, as the SUV space has been extremely competitive, but also successful for Tesla with Model Y and Model X, seems like another option in the higher end could be coming 
in the not too distant future. Also wanna give a huge thanks to Mini REVs for supporting the channel. They're the makers of these super amazing, high quality and just crazy accurate uh, mini EV uh, models here that are just fantastic. They've got Model S, Model X, Model Y, and of course they've got my beloved Cybertruck here. I've got this map block option that looks really cool. You can pick up some accessories with this thing. Anyone will enjoy it, whether you're three years old, 30 years old, 100 years old. If you love Teslas, you are going to to enjoy the build quality, the precision, and just the fun over geeking out over little Tesla models that are really accurate, really well made, and just a cool addition to your desk, your shelf, uh, your locker if you're in school, wherever you are, whatever stage in life. If you're a Tesla fan, you are going to love this. If you want to check out all that Mini REVs has to offer, they've got an incredible collection at a really great price. Hit the link down below to learn more and check it out for yourself today. So I'm curious, guys, what are your thoughts on the Tesla news for the week? Your thoughts on Model Y replacements, Model X successors, deals, discounts? Drop a comment down below and let me know. And if you made it to the very end of the video and you want a free way to win some Amazon money, all you've got to do is three simple things. As usual, like this video, subscribe to the channel, drop a comment down below, and in your comment, just use the keyword remote. Just throw that in there at the end so I know you stay to the very end. As always, I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Robert Rosenfeld, and I'll see you all in the next one.